Hello everyone, I am looking much more presentable and put together now. Um, I got myself ready, I did my makeup. I've been really enjoying doing my makeup recently. I feel like I finally have a really, really nice routine down with my makeup that I just absolutely love. And so I'm hoping that soon. Um, I will have a full video just dedicated to my everyday makeup. That way I can really kind of get into all the products, everything I do, um, because I get so many questions on my makeup. Anyways, I wanted to show you what I'm wearing because I really love my outfit today. It's kind of like comfy, but really put together. So let me show you. So this is what I am wearing today. This is actually, I think the cardigan I was wearing in my last video. This is from Aritzia. It's very casual, but then what I've done is I've just paired it with my Holland Cooper belt, which is one of my favorite accessories. I get so much wear out of this because no matter what you add it to, it just, it just elevates it. Um, and then underneath I've got some vegan leather uh, leggings. These ones are the Daria pants from Aritzia. Unfortunately, my boots are from Coach, but they are uh, not available anymore. So I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> Jewelry wise, I've got my Nord Green watch. This is the Philosopher watch in the rose gold. Again, it's kind of just tying in this gold hardware. Got my Missouri um, yellow gold diamond necklace. We've got my Tiffany silver necklace. I get so many questions about these. And the reason I love these necklaces is because I can do anything in them. I never take them off. I shower in them. I work out in them. I need my jewelry to be very versatile in that sense. Same with these Missouri pearl kind of um, earrings. So this is what I'm wearing today. It's very, very cozy. But what I actually wanted to talk to you about was a new order. I got a new order from Nasty Gal. So I'm gonna go grab that and we can open it up together. All right, let's go sit in our designated <laughs> unboxing location. So I have a nice big order from Nasty Gal. I am actually working with Nasty Gal in this video, but like I had discussed in previous videos, I really wanted to make the effort to still share with you guys some high street items. And so I picked out some really, really nice items. So anyways, I, went crazy with the dresses because even now I love wearing dresses with tights and boots. I picked out three dresses and I also picked out a pair of shoes. Um, so I'm really excited. So the first dress that I picked out is this beautiful white dress. It's got almost like a mock neck, really beautiful kind of minimal balloon sleeves and then a nice cinched in waist. I love cinched in waists. I just feel like they really kind of help bring back that shape into your body. And this one I just envisioned with a beautiful black belt and black boots. I just think that would totally elevate such a beautiful and classic dress. Okay, here is the white dress. This is the dress I was most excited about. It is so, so beautiful. Again, it's got this cinched in feature right here, which I've put the belt over top. Again, you've got that detailing on the puff sleeve and then this beautiful detailing up here around your neck. And I just think that this looks so, so flattering. And I know some of you are gonna be worried about how see-through this is. I am actually wearing a black bra and underwear right now um, and you cannot see a thing. Obviously, I would recommend nude underwear, but I am wearing black and you cannot see um, pretty much anything. So I absolutely love it. I would probably add a blazer over top. Okay, I've added my black blazer over top. I think this is such a me outfit. I absolutely love it. I think the blazer just makes it look so smart and yet it's so feminine with the white dress. This next piece is just, I absolutely love it. Like, if you've been around since my birthday, I feel like this gives me my birthday dress vibes, if you know what I mean. You'll know, you, you, there's some of you that will know. <laughs> but um, this one, as soon as I saw it on the website, I fell in love. It's got this beautiful pattern. It's got blacks and burgundies and browns. And um, again, you've got that cinched in waist, which I love, a little bit of a high neck. And again, just a beautiful dainty sleeve. These types of dresses I love, not only are they light, but they're also really, really nice because they've got so many colors. So if you have a brown purse, it goes with this. If you have a burgundy purse, it goes with this. Because it's got black in there as well, you can use black accessories. And those are things that I'm always kind of looking for. So anyways, oh, I just, I think this is my favorite dress. 
yeah, I can already tell that like my future self is gonna be dying to share this with you guys on Instagram and I, I'm gonna have to wait till this video goes out. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I'm wearing it with just some black knee-high boots and then a black belt and I just think it looks so, so beautiful. I love this pattern. I love the detailing on the neck and the sleeves. I just think these colors work so, so well together and it's so flattering too. I think adding a belt to any dress, honestly, just like elevates it. It's something that I love doing. Um, even to sweater dresses. I think it's just such a foolproof method of elevating any outfit. As some of you, I think, may have caught on when it comes to dresses, I absolutely love playing with patterns. I think it is, it's the one place where I just love patterns. <laughs> but this next dress is a kind of got like that drop waist feel. It's got buttons down the center. It's got this beautiful collar and again, a little bit of a balloon sleeve which i think is so so flattering and for me drop waists are probably one of my favorite types of silhouettes i just find on me they are so so flattering and so this one again with black boots i feel like would make this super feminine dress a little bit edgier i don't know i just i love this <laughs> the last thing i got is a pair of booties these remind me so much of my coach ones and it's why i actually picked them up to begin with because i just love this silhouette but again these are them they've got a beautiful heel square toe and what i love about these is that they've actually got a very skinny and tall ankle this is something that i look for in booties because on me that i'm five foot three if it's too short it's actually going to make my legs look shorter than they are so i always look for something that's a little bit longer along the ankle and this is something that i love to pair with dresses and i just think it just makes it so much more edgier okay this is the other dress that i got i absolutely love this dress i actually am wearing it with the black nasty gal booties and as much as i love styling dresses and adding belts and accessories nothing beats a dress that is just beautiful all on its own and this one is a perfect example of that it is so comfy and it's just so beautiful all on its own it doesn't need anything and then these are the um, nasty gal booties again like i said these are a little bit higher on the leg which i absolutely love i love it and of course these boots look at that heel i love it I love this outfit. I think it's so, so beautiful. So those are all the items that I got and I will be sure to link everything that I picked up in this haul in the description box as well as sizes. Um, and so yeah, I'm really excited about these items. Nasty L also has their Valentine's Day collection out already. I think one or two of these dresses were actually from the Valentine's Day collection and I think it's perfect timing because we all want those cute dresses. I know we do. I know we do it <laughs> um but they have their valentine's day collection out and it's filled with loads and loads of different things so i think definitely check that out because i know i found some really nice pieces from there um but anyways like i said i will leave everything down below in the description box if you have any questions just let me know <laughs> but i am gonna clean up my mess because you know you know the drill you guys know the drill make a mess clean up the mess all right, so I just kind of got ready to go out. I did put a turtleneck underneath the sweater, like I said I would if I was going out. I'm just gonna go pick up some curbside orders. I've got something to pick up at Holt Renfrew, um, something else, a pair of shoes, a new pair of shoes, which I'm very excited about, which I wanna show you till I get them. <laughs> and then, what else do I have to pick up? Oh, I am picking up um, the full-sized bottles of the Gisu, Gisu, um shampoo and conditioner because i actually really really enjoyed the kind of mini sizes that i got for christmas and i am i think i have like one wash left in those bottles and i was like i'm gonna go buy the full size <laughs> so i'm gonna go pick up the full size from zephora and i'll come back home and then we got to do some catching up because there's a few things i want to catch you up on i made an order from reese there's a whole story that i need to tell you about um yeah so just loads of catching up but i got to get these errands done and over with so yeah let's go wait let me just show you what i'm wearing i just added um burberry scarf and then my um plaza coat over top i just wanted something longer because it is a little bit colder outside today i think it's negative six i think um and so i will be taking my mitts with me um but yeah that's what i'm wearing cozy very simple Hello everyone, it's a little bit later in the evening. I'm just cooking some cheesy pasta. Um, my period is like a week away and um, 
all I want is chocolate and carbs. So I've literally gone through like literally this like half of this in like just today. Um, so I've got pasta cooking right now because I am that's all I want is just carbs and chocolate. Ah, <sighs> that's my life. But anyways, I thought that while I was waiting for my pasta to cook, I would just kind of um talk about my last video and um, my question about PR. I want to say thank you to all of those who took the time to kindly um, share your thoughts um, about why um, it's important for you to kind of know um, if someone has been sent a PR gift or not. Um, so thank you for those of you who took the time to share your thoughts. So I don't want to drag on the conversation too, too long, but I do want to say two things. The first is that my disclosure will not change. I have always openly disclosed everything. The one thing that will be changing is that um, when something is gifted, you will know and it will be listed in the description box. So regardless of whether I say it in the video or not, um, it will be in the description box in one way or another. You will know it might say PR gift or there'll be a little star asterisk or something. Something will let you know that it is gifted. Um, but the second thing that I wanted to bring up was um, something that came up quite a lot, multiple, multiple times. And um, I just want to give you guys a reminder that, that when I talk about a product, I am never telling you to go out and buy it. I am not here to make your shopping decisions. I am simply here to perhaps, you know, provide you with a little bit more information. That way you can make an informed decision about your purchases. Um, perhaps, you know, how it looks in comparison to my body ratio, um, you know, how much you can fit in it, but I am not here to tell you what to buy. That's not my job. <laughs> um, and so I just want to make that clear. Um, you know, what works for me may not work for you and vice versa. And so just keep that in mind um, when you watch videos. Another thing that kind of kept coming up um, was you know um feelings of feeling bad about yourself or feeling sad or angry or envy whatever um those are not feelings that you should be feeling when watching a content creator and so this is a reminder that if there is a content creator out there that makes you feel bad about yourself or that you're not good enough or whatever it may be um it could be a, a sign that it's time to move on from that content creator um and that is nothing wrong with you and there's nothing wrong with them it's just simply they're maybe not the creator for you um because content creators should be here to motivate you and inspire you and you know make you feel like waking up in the morning and just doing something good for yourself and that's what we're here for and at least at least that's what i'm here for i want you to feel amazing and empowered and um you know motivated when you watch my vlogs not anything else um or perhaps relaxed <laughs> Um, so those are just a couple of reminders because um, those are two things that definitely kept coming up in the comments in one way or another so that's it I won't be touching this subject again um, I definitely got a good answer to my question so thank you guys again but right now I am gonna continue eating my chocolate and I'll see you guys tomorrow Good morning everyone. I'm looking pale and my face is feeling very dry because I have yet to do my skincare. I just made my coffee. This is the Voluto coffee from Nespresso. It's the like little yellow pods. Um, it's called Voluto. So, so good. One of my favorites. It's very light. So I like it in the mornings. Um, but right now I thought I would go do my skincare with you. So we've got the coffee. Let's go do our skincare together. <laughs> So for me, I love to keep my skincare very simple. It's very minimal. Um, and so my mornings looks a little bit different than my um, evening skincare. But for starters, I have started using vitamin C. Finally, I was um, searching high and low for vitamin C. A lot of them were really, really expensive. And um, after seeing a bunch of videos from dermatologists um the consensus that i got was that that's not necessarily necessary like it doesn't necessarily make it a better product so i'm using this la roge pose pure vitamin c 10 serum i used it yesterday for the first time and oh my god it smells amazing absolutely amazing so i've been this is only my second day using it 
but I am starting to incorporate it into my skincare. The next thing I would love to incorporate into my skincare is retinol. Um, I just don't feel well researched enough to um, incorporate it yet. <laughs> I feel like I don't I don't know enough about it um, to put it into my skincare. Besides people telling me that I should. So then the next thing I use is this Glossier Bubble Wrap for underneath my eyes. This just keeps everything nice and hydrated. If you've been around for some time, you will know that I love my Ren skincare toner. I'm still using it. I use it in the evening though, just because I find that sometimes it gets pretty strong. Next, Clinique Moisturizer, still using it, still loving it. <laughs> It just is so hydrating, even in the winter. I have found that I have not needed to search for like a thicker, more richer moisturizer. This one just, oh, it does the trick. It really does. Okay, and the only other thing I do in the mornings for my skincare are SPF <laughs> and lip balm. Um, SPF is so, so, so important. So, so, so important. And um, again, I'm using the La Roche-Posay and Thelios um, 50 Plus. This is not sponsored by La Roche-Posay. I just, this is a brand that really meshes well with my skin. It does not break me out. It does not cause any little bumps, um, which I find, I don't know, I, a lot of skincare brands tend to do that. So the thing with SPF is that you have to use enough. So I use essentially two full fingers and then I will rub that in very, very generously. You want to make sure that you're using enough SPF and if possible that you're reapplying. So that is my morning skincare routine. I do this every morning. I put sunscreen on every single morning, even if I'm not leaving the house and it's super cloudy and my shutters are closed. I still put sunscreen on, it's so, so, so important. Um, and like I said, the only thing I have added to my routine is this vitamin C serum, which I really, really love. And this one was um, recommended by a dermatologist, um, I think on YouTube. So um, that's the one I picked up. I'll try and link it down below if I can find it. It smells so good. <laughs> um, but that is my skincare. Right now I am going to sit down, take a minute to myself and get my day organized. So I like to sit down with my agenda, kind of write down my list of tasks that I need to do in kind of order of importance. Um, so I kind of like to prioritize my tasks and um, yeah. I find sitting down with an agenda or even a notebook or journaling, I just, I find that that really gets you kind of set for the day and it gets you um, sets you up for success. So that's gonna be my plan. I'm gonna get myself ready and then Yeah, we'll catch up in a bit <laughs> everyone I didn't get to show you all the things that I bought yesterday um, because I just I don't know I ran out of sunlight honestly <laughs> so I thought today I would show you what I picked up yesterday um, but before we do I want to talk about an order that I made last week so if you follow me on Instagram you'll probably have seen that I received an order from Reese and um, this is this hurts me to say this really like ugh is so hard um reese is a store that i have been ever since i can remember i like just wanted to be able to afford reese okay um i just like idealized this like store in my head and um i ordered three things i ordered a skirt a top and a pair of trousers and i i don't want to like bulk the entire brand into those three items um but the quality was not there for me. Um, truth be told, aside from the trousers, I think the trousers didn't fit me. The sizing was 
super odd um, but aside from the trousers that were actually quite good quality um, the other two items honestly like I think Aritzia has better quality um, and the price was I got the items on sale um, the skirt I think was like 250 full price um, I'm sorry mm -mm, not worth 250 um, my Aritzia twirl skirt is I believe 140 full price um, and it's about a thousand times better in terms of quality so I was honestly really really disappointed in that experience I will be returning everything and I just I don't know I it's so strange because I've idolized this brand for so so many years and I just expected so much from it and like it's expensive it's not cheap okay that's not a cheap brand um, and it just didn't it didn't live up to its price point <laughs> and so I'm um, that's not to say I will never try other items from Reese I love their like suits I definitely think that like their tailored items are amazing those trousers the quality was phenomenal they were even they were white trousers and they were even lined like that's amazing um so i definitely think that their tailoring is really really good um their other items i just didn't think that the quality matched the price um for example stays on like no questions about it like yes it's a 200 dollars sweater and yes the quality is 200 dollars worth <laughs> um but i just didn't feel that from reese and it's funny because i was facetiming my mom right after i received the items and I'm, I'm, I'm wearing the items. And I'm like, oh, it's so beautiful. And she's like, she's like, you don't really look excited. And I think it's because it took me a moment to kind of like accept the fact that it just, it didn't live up to, you know. So, um, yeah, let me know if that's ever happened to you. Like, is it just maybe the items that I picked out? Or, um, honestly, I, I'm not sure. But, um. Yeah, I'll have to try other items in the future, but for now, those will be going back. Uh, anyways, enough of that. Um, let me show you the items that I picked up yesterday. Um, I got something from, I picked something up from Holt Run Through, a pair of shoes, and um, some stuff from Sephora. So let me go grab them. Oh, okay. So um, I am going to start with um, the dress. So this is a dress I picked up from, I think it was Holt Run Through. This is a Ghani, is it Ghani? Someone correct me, I don't know if that's correct. Um, but this is a black crap dress. You will have seen this in a reel. Um, it is just the most beautiful silhouette. It's got this like elasticated waist detailing, which I really like because as much as it's kind of like a very loose-ish fitting dress, um, I find that that belt detailing makes it look very beautiful. And also these sleeves are just phenomenal. They've got really beautiful balloon sleeves. Um, the other thing, so that was what I got from the whole run through. Um, the other thing I got, oh, let me go get my other one. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I actually had to pull this one out of my shower because I used it last night because I ran out of, uh, shampoo. But I bought the full-sized shampoo and conditioner from Jisoo. Gisu, however you pronounce it. Um, I, if you've been following me since Christmas, you will know that I got the travel size, like the mini versions of these. And after using those, I was just like, the moment that I realized I was running out, I was like, oh my God, I can't run out. And that's usually like when I have that reaction with the product, that usually lets me know that I really enjoyed it. Um, because I'm like, I don't want to not live without this product. <laughs> and as soon as I had that reaction with this, I was like, okay, I really enjoy it. Um, so this is the Gisu, Gisu honey infused hair wash. And then this is the honey infused conditioner. So the shampoo is free from sulfates and silicones, which are two things you want to steer clear of, especially if your hair is colored. And then the conditioner is free from sulfates and silicones. Um, so I just really really have been enjoying these products i actually feel like when i use the shampoo it actually cleans my scalp like sometimes when i use other shampoos you know you even like i always um wash my hair twice um when i shower and sometimes i feel like they don't actually get rid of all like the product and 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 oil and this one literally leaves your scalp feeling clean um i also just 
love the smell of these. <laughs> they smell absolutely amazing. So anyways, those are um, the two things I picked up from Sephora because I, like I said, I was running out and I didn't want to run out. <laughs> the last thing I picked up. I gotta say, um, this was a very surreal moment. I just never thought I would ever be doing this. Okay, this just, I never, I never imagined I, myself doing this. Oh my God. Um, anyways, I'm, so if you couldn't tell from the box, I got a pair of Christian Louboutins. Um, no nasty comments, please. If you disagree with this purchase, that's okay. Just be nice in the comments. I can already see people commenting. <laughs> um, but I did quite a lot of research into what pair of heels to get. And I know if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen these already. But um, I was really looking for a classic heel. And I went back and forth between Christian Louboutins and Manolo Blahniks. I have a pair of Manolo Blahniks, comfiest pair of heels. Um, but I wanted, again, a black heel. That's, that's specifically what I was looking for. Um, and I tried, I was in between, if you shop at Christian Louboutin, you'll know, I was in between the Kates and the Pigals. And so I got the Pigals in the 100 millimeter. Um, and I went with a size 36. So I actually went half a size down from my usual um, shoe size. Um, it's funny because I initially was gonna get the Kates and I did have the chance to try them on, thankfully. Um, and when I tried the Kates on, they were the most uncomfortable pair of heels I have ever worn. Cannot stress that enough. They were gorgeous absolutely gorgeous don't get me wrong um but i actually like to be able to wear my heels and so i said you know what um let me try the pigals and so the pigals honestly they feel like any other heel like they're comfortable they're not uncomfortable like but these are comfort wise great they're not uncomfortable if anything i would say that these heels are more on the comfortable side than the uncomfortable side um, and again, I just went with that beautiful leather. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of patent, um, so I didn't go with patent, but I just love how timeless these heels are. Um, just like, oh, it's just still doesn't feel real. Um, it just doesn't feel real. <laughs> Anyways, that is what I got from Christian Louboutin. I went with a very classic heel and you know, hopefully, down the road, I will be able to get something a little bit more fun. Um, but I wanted my first pair to be a pair that I could wear with loads and loads of things. So many times do I hear women say like on YouTube, talk about like their luxury purchases that they regret. And most of the times the thing you hear is that they just purchased something that didn't go with anything. Like, you know, oh, I purchased a Chanel, but I purchased it in blue. And it's like, okay, well, blue doesn't go with everything. So I was really mindful that with this purchase, I wanted it to be something that would go with literally everything. And I mean, it's a black pair of heels. Black heels go with everything. Um, and so that was kind of my thought process behind it. Um, the reason I didn't go with Manolo Blahnik um, was because I did want an edgier pair of heels. And I just think that the red sole naturally makes the heel a little bit edgier. If you are someone who absolutely is just all for those timeless and classic styles, which I am, I am, I love timeless and classic too, then absolutely go with the Manolo Blahnik. I think Manolo Blahnik is still the number one heel out there, in my opinion. Um, so comfortable, so flattering, and just the quality is amazing. But these are my babies now. I'm very excited. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you're as excited as I am with this purchase. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, what did I do today? What did I do today? It was a crazy busy day of filming today, um, but I really, really enjoyed myself. Um, I think I was just feeling really, really good today, and I love days where I'm just super motivated and energetic to get my work done because, uh, I don't know, some days I just don't feel great. <laughs> 
but I will be ending the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Actually, I really enjoyed that there was so much variety in this vlog. I think these are the types of vlogs I personally love to watch when there's like a little bit of everything for everyone in one vlog. And so I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this. I will link everything I talk about in this vlog. Um, and if I forget about something, which I typically do, just comment. I'll, I'll link it after you tell me. <laughs> um, but anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.